Right. I think the battery will be going on this soon. So just do a little bit more. It'll get a bit darker in a minute as the trees encroach more and the stream starts to come down beside us. Um, and then in the end we come get to the gates junction point and meet the Coleridge Way. And then I go back down the lane to catch the bus. Uh, and um, that's it. My legs are feeling like jelly at the moment because what it is, I've been doing a lot of upward walking. And it's a different movement of the muscles. And you've actually got to be careful you don't turn your ankle or things like that. And your knees are acting like these <laughs> absorbers, you know. And, and they're doing an awful lot of work. And of course all that goes back to the brain. And the brain's saying, well, Sheila, you didn't really let me sleep much last night, did you? My brain, you know, my brain. Your brain hasn't rested much. So I am, I am, I am. If I fell asleep on the bus or the train, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm feeling that tired. But I don't have to get anything from the shop when I get back. Um, I'm having a pasty tonight. Pasty, I might have some ice cream. I, I don't always eat a lot, actually, um, when I get home, because I can't be bothered to cook. <laughs> Too tired. Or I get those um, meals, ready-made meals. <sighs> We're having hearts tomorrow. I'm cooking heart, casserole hearts with onions and carrots and sweet um, dumplings. Yeah, lovely, lovely dinner tomorrow. That's probably that's why I won't be going really going anywhere much tomorrow because I think my legs are going to be little bit weary tomorrow. I don't like staying in when it's nice weather though because we have such long spells of horrible weather. You know it can go on for weeks sometimes you might get one or half a day where it's nice. So you know I like to get out when I can but I'm beginning to realise that as I do get older, I'm not blaming it all on age, but whereas I did the, that four day hiking thing, and I, and I can probably do it again, um, it isn't as easy anymore, you know, it's not as easy, definitely not. Oh, can I see a deer up there? on the other side of the hill. Let me have a look. Let's get in the shade and I'll do a bit of zoom and it might just be, it's probably just bracken. Now this is a nice little spot here by the way. No, it's just bracken. Looks like deer but it's actually bracken. All fading now. Imagine this in the winter when it's full of snow everyone. You can hear the stream. The babbling brook. Listen. Lovely, isn't it? Well, there's some sort of wagtail down there, Bert. That's what it looks like. Cross between a blue tail and a wagtail. Don't know if I can get it. Let me have a look. It might fly off. Don't know if I can get it on the video. It might have gone already. It's how I've zoomed in. Yeah, it's gone already. It was on the stone. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Look. It's a pretty little bird, isn't it? Yeah. Come to have a little drink of water, isn't it? the actual tendon in the back of the calf then. 
twing, twing, just pinging a bit. So there we go, someone's put a few stones here. My feet are still just slightly damp. But the shoes have dried out really well. I shall have a nice big hot bowl of uh, lovely water to soak my feet tonight. So Wednesday, it's midweek. Oh. Hopefully I'll be back by seven. I have news I am. I've always managed to get either half past three, four, half past four or five o'clock ones so far. I've been lucky that I've managed to not rush the walk. I've not been rushing. It's just worked out. I've managed to achieve so much without really rushing or anything. I've, I've just been ambling along and it's been brilliant. And I've been so happy. And some I don't, you only see a snippets everyone. Believe me, I, you don't see the whole walk by any means. And I'm often walking quietly reflecting. So people who get fed up with my voice can always turn up volume down. But uh, I don't know, I walk a lot quietly. Soaking it all up, enjoying it. But I talk when I'm sharing it. Pointing things out, that sort of thing. I do some short bits where I don't talk, don't I? But I, I can't be quiet for long, because as soon as you give me the camera, I want to start talking. It's weird. Whereas I can walk for ages and not talk at all. Of course not. There's a big ravine there. I bet that's very, very full in the winter and during heavy storms, don't you? It's been carved out by water, hasn't it? And carved out. This is a lovely, pretty little bit, this bit, you know. I'm expecting the battery to go any time, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if I'll bother putting any more in once this one goes, because this is the third battery. It's on the second memory card. And I will be putting it on eventually. I'm going to have a little break, give everyone a break. I'll obviously be saving it to disc. And I'll probably prepare the WMV. Um, but I won't put it on yet because people will be saturated with West Bagbar otherwise. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, long videos. Some people only want to see a minute and they get bored or they want to move on. And Everyone's different. Mine are my journals, my reflective diaries, my visual diaries. And I like sharing them, and some people like like them. And if they don't like it, they don't, probably don't like them all, but I mean, I don't really know. I subscribe to other people, I like watching their videos. We're all different. Right, well I saw some deer in their usual place, getting ready for the rutting season. I haven't seen any deer in this coombe today, but they probably could be hiding somewhere further up. But I've got, they might be in paradise comb. So just to end now, in case the video goes, everyone. I'm going to have a little rest from coming over. It'll be very short visits when I come next time. That's because winter will be coming. Um, and so I'd be over here. And I'm not getting very, very early. I should come over here for, say, um, 10 o'clock. And do, and then, and then get back, you know, before dark. It'll be that sort of limited walk uh, so it, it, it won't be like eight hour walks well it could be <laughs> no it's too dangerous to walk around these sort of places in the dark too dangerous isn't that lovely though all the way down there absolutely magnificent I love it I really do Glad I found these places. Over now. Right, very quick video. I didn't expect the church to be open. And the battery's nearly gone, folks. So this is um, 
the church. Some big graves in here of the Safin people. I'm just about hanging, I'm really tired. <laughs> God, I hope we don't collapse. Um, it's because I'd never had any sleep, everyone. Never had any sleep. <sighs> I've just come in here for a second. I've got a quarter of an hour before the bus. Oh, God, look, these things leave a tap open for people, look. There's the bell. That's the church, everyone. I've done it before, probably in more depth. <sighs> Wasn't open last time, or I didn't turn the the door well enough. My church. There was a walkway somewhere here. Maybe it's inside the church. This is called St George's, by the way, if I forgot to say. Yeah, there's a, there's a house going that way. I must go through there then. I'll have to look into that sometime. Right, I'm just going to sit here for a minute and have a drink of water. Over and out.